Hello, it's James Art here. I hope you're doing really well. So I've got a quick tip for you. It's a tip to clean up those really chuggy guitars in a heavy metal mix. Now it's a trick which is made famous by Andy Sneap and to do so he uses the Waves C4 to do it. Um, I'm going to use that but you can actually use any multiband compressor. So let's dive in and have a look how it works. So before we get started, it's time for my usual spiel. If you like the video, please hit the like. And also if you wanna be notified of upcoming videos and hit the subscribe and the notification bell. Also, if you sign up to the mailing list, I'll send you some free stuff. It will be an EQ cheat sheet, as well as some one shot drum hits that you can use in your mixes. Let's dive in. Okay, so why and where do we use this? Now, the main place that we use this is on really heavy guitars when they're when they're palm muting throughout a mix. So you'll get that in lots of heavy metal mixes, of course. And the problem that can happen is when a guitarist hits the palm mute, you get a build up of the bass and that can essentially just take over the mix a little bit. So this tip is just really helpful because it essentially tames the low end without sucking out all of the tone from your guitar. So let's have a quick look at one that I've got going on right now. So you get the idea that there'll be a little bit of a build up in the low end. And although we want to get some of that energy, we do need to try and tame it, especially when you've got multiple guitars going on. So here I've actually got, I've quad tracked it. So I've actually got four guitars doing the same thing. We're just going to focus on the two for now. But if you load up C4, this is what you'll get greeted with. And you can do this with any multiband compressor. It doesn't have to be C4. This just happens to be the one that he's often used and it does a great job. Now, all you wanna do is you wanna be affecting just a small part of the frequency. So you turn off all of the bands apart from this second one and you just need to narrow it down a little bit. All the palm mutes are gonna be happening in the low mids. So anywhere from around 100 to about 300 is good, but you can adjust it depending on the songs. So if you've got things that are really drop tuned and you might want to bring it just a little bit lower but you can just adjust it on whatever sounds best really so once we focus in on the frequencies if i play it you'll start to see what it's going to start to do and it's going to affect just this small portion here <laughs> So it's just dipping that little bit just on the low mids. And if we take that off, you'll hear a difference. And back on. As you can hear, it's just that little bit tighter. And like I said, it can be cumulative. So if you've got multiple guitars like I do have here, it's a really handy thing to do just to make sure that you're really, you're really controlling those frequencies. So I've got this setting set up to the other ones too. We're gonna to bring those in. And there you go, much more controlled. I'll give you a little bit of a splash with it in the context of a track. And there you go. Now, like I said, you can do that with any multiband compressor. So there's also another one by Waves called the F6, which will do a very similar job. Or you can use stock plugins, Logic, Pro Tools, Reaper, all of them have a multiband compressor. So just find whatever you've got and apply the same technique and you should get the same result. Okay, that's just a quick tip for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.